Hey, it's Reverend James Fother, and uh, this is my Bible study podcast for January 20th, 2021. The whole world knows we are about change today in America. It is Inauguration Day, and so today we're hitting change head on, and today I have some help. Uh, the help that comes from, first of all, the prophet Jeremiah, to remember in the midst of changing times and things that never stop changing in our lives, to remember Jeremiah 29 and 11, where it says, for I know the plans I have for you, says, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. May God add a blessing to the reading, hearing, and doing of God's own holy word. So in the midst of change, beloveds, we know that we hang on to those plans that God has for us, not to harm us, but plans for hope and a future for us and for our country, and in our times. And today, I turn to one of the great musicians of our times. I turn to Wynton Marsalis today. He will help me with his rendition of a piece he calls Reflections from his jazz album, Standards and Ballads. And uh, uh, I'm just going to let it play in the background as I go to my two poets and meditation for today. Here is Wynton Marsalis with Reflections. first poet I turn to today is Langston Hughes and this one's called I too considering all we've seen in the changes uh, on the political scene in Washington DC let's hear from Langston Hughes today who wrote, I too sing America. I am the darker brother. They send me to eat in the kitchen when company comes, but I laugh and eat well and grow strong. Tomorrow, I'll be at the table when company comes. Nobody will dare say to me, eat in the kitchen then. Besides, They'll see how beautiful I am and be ashamed. I too am America. For anyone feeling uh, left out, alone, Uh, for those of you who are grieving losses in your lives from the pandemic, uh, the rhythm of memorials that have been and remembrances that have been part of this first day in office of the new president, President Biden, has been deeply moving. And then there's another poet of the Harlem Renaissance era. Her name is Georgia Douglas Johnson. She was also one of the early African-American playwrights, born September 10th, 1880 in Atlanta, and she died May May 15th, 1966 in Washington, D.C. This one she called Common Dust. 
And who shall separate the dust which later we shall be? Whose keen discerning eye will scan and solve the mystery? The high, the low, the rich, the poor, the black, the white, the red, and all the chromatique between. Of whom shall it be said, here lies the dust of Africa, here lies the sons of Rome, here lies one unlabeled, the world at large, her home. Can one then separate the dust? Will humankind lie apart when life has settled back again? The same as from the start. Common dust by Georgia Douglas Johnson. And then I close with the meditation today for it is called Peace in the Danger Zone of Change. With this one, I turn again to the Reverend Dr. Kirk Byron Jones and his wonderful resource, Refill Meditations for Leading with Wisdom, Peace, and Joy. This one is called Peace in the Danger Zone of change. Peace in the danger zone of change. Noted journalist Bill Moyers once asked the astonishing late poet Lucille Clifton about how she boldly addressed difficult, often heart-wrenching realities and themes in her poetry. Her immediate response was, you cannot play for safety and make art. There is perhaps a necessary inbred tension in religious experience. On the one hand, we are drawn to it in part due to the comfort and assurance it provides, especially in times of stress and trial. On the other hand, The spiritual growth urged by most religious traditions, including Christianity, hinges on our being able to be vulnerable before change. Safety must be risked if transformation is to be realized. What are you risking today so that your faith can grow, beloved? What will you risk tomorrow so your faith can grow? What will you do to keep nurturing your faith so it's more than just comfort and assurance and it can become everything it needs to become for the full blessing it can give in your life? Well, that's the question today. And with that question comes this prayer. Let us pray. Dear God, where my need for safety is a blockade to my being and doing better, grant me peace in the danger zone of change. God, grant me peace in the danger zone of change this day. The changes afoot are mighty this day. The administration of the highest office in the land has surely changed. What kind of changes for you will help you live a more fruitful more deeply faithful, committed life for the one whom we serve, Jesus. What kind of change will you welcome in all your tomorrows? 
as you reflect, it is my hope that you will find in your heart the time and the willingness to keep journeying with us at the United Church of Montbello. Our virtual worship service is on Sundays. You can catch us on Facebook Live on the United Church of Montbello uh, Facebook page. Uh, you can uh, tune in at 7.30 a.m. Mountain Time. Certainly the replays of our service are available to you by 9 a.m. Mountain Time. Um, it is my hope that you'll journey with us on Wednesdays uh, as we share meditations, devotions, thoughts. It is my hope that you will journey with uh, with us as a people as the United Church of Montbello is not just a building. It is a people in Denver, Colorado, and we are glad to welcome you uh, and to welcome you and yours into our midst. I'm Reverend James Fother. I'm pastor of the United Church of Montbello. Thanks for listening today. May God bless and keep you. May God Make God's face to shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you peace. Even in these times of great change, for I ask it today and always in Jesus' sweet name. Amen, amen, and amen.